now let's look at the development of illustration art in China. Having a long history, illustrations were used to be named xiang in ancient books, which is a combination of the Chinese characters mu and mu. The early Chinese records are all text-based. It is hardly pictorial. But from the Tang Dynasty, illustrations began to become popular in large numbers. And by this time, the illustrations were in the form of lithographs. In the Tang Dynasty, we can refer to all printing of this feature as woodcut. The art of carving was very good then, so it largely promoted development of books and then drove the development of illustration. As far as this work, is Diamond Sutra, a title page of a book, which is the earliest engraved illustration in existence in China. Discovered at Dunhuang in 1900, at least 500 years before the European ones. The next work was found in 1944 in Chengdu, Sichuan province, in an ancient tomb. It is the earliest surviving ancient print in China. Then during the Ming Dynasty, novels and Chinese opera appeared, and set color printing began to appear. The printing also began to appear in many forms. The spatial relationship in the picture are also different in this period than before. The work we see now is the work of a very famous printer and artist of that time. His name was Chen Hongshou. He is a representative figure of the period and his work is known for its characters. His works such as Water Margin and The West Chamber are very, very well crafted. I mean the craft of carving. Then the pen he used is also very sharp because it's engraving. And then the characters are lifelike as well. This work we're looking at now is Water Margin by him. Let's take a look at this work by Lu Zhishen, which has a vivid state of the characters, especially their movement. In particular, the rope on the body has very fluid lines and layering. He uses the simplest of lines and the repetition of lines to express the texture of the robe. The folds of the garment created by the movement are very well expressed. This piece is done with a very simple technique. It was already the best work in those days. Then take a look at the picture next to it, The West Chamber, published in the Ming Journal. The whole work consists of 20 pieces, each piece is presented in a paginated form, that is, as a cross-page spread. It also belonged to a relatively new version of that period. During that time, the characters in his works are different in form or shape. The spatial relationship of architecture has begun to appear, and the use of perspective has begun. So this work is also very representative of that period. By the end of the Qing Dynasty, illustration had begun to change dramatically, and it was no longer just an illustration that appeared in a book or in a religion. At this time, illustration began to be influenced by Western culture, like Western economic or Western art, and Chinese illustration began to change dramatically. Since foreign merchants began to enter China and more entered Shanghai at the end of the Qing Dynasty, an art form ca uh, called calendar poster began to appear in this area of China. It originated in the early 20th century and was introduced by foreign merchants to promote their products. It was then used by many Shanghai merchants who also used it to uh, attract their customers by using them as a product giveaway. An art form of the calendar poster is mostly characterized by the dress beauty. The style of these posters is sweet and the costumes are exquisite. The piece we're looking at now is a month sign piece that actually does an ad for a brand called Hatman. It was the name of a secret then. We can see the character state is sweet and gentle. The costumes are gorgeous too. 
The whole color is very soft. The atmosphere of the picture matches the aesthetic standard of that time. This should be the original business poster of our country.